so may it please your highness. This is a poem I wrote some years ago for a Cleflin Standard Bearers tournament. It's called Penzik's True Origin. All gentles know whence comes the Penzik War, that in strong August sun is yearly fought. To set a mid-realm king, the first of yore declared it on himself. Yet it was not his royal doing, as some have been taught, to sure that in the deed he had a hand, but not while he was sovereign of the land. Good Caradoc had yet twice sat the throne, and ducal leaves now rested on his brow. He traveled to the east upon his own initiative, there to witness how prepared they might be to face the proud, stout-hearted fighters of our realm, and brought a gift, of which the eastern king took naught. An arrow of war, good Caradoc brought to the oriental king, one Rakurai, who straightway gave it back, the more to do offense and challenge in the mid-realm's eye. Not more the duke could do, except to hide himself to home, and there to plainly tell this sovereign's pride to our king, Iriel. T'was Iriel who took the arrow then. In tw on twelfth night, in his reign, intriguered sea, King Iriel's eyes with fire glowing when with fighters hopeful, pressing close to sea and straining to contain their swelling glee, the challenge he took up with boldest stroke, and Iriel, this fated arrow broke. So neither king was Caradoc, you see, when Penzic War's beginning was declared. Fate gave King Iriel this duty. He who few travails throughout his reign was spared. An arrow breaks, and so a war is prepared. King Iria, whose name's now barely known, so served while sitting mid-realm's dragon throne.